Okay, we're back and we have the malware scan completed on system 32 files. Uh, turns up uh, one file. Normally you're going to see quite an output here because uh, you can't whitelist every file that's going to be in system 32 on every machine. It's um, uh, you're going to have a lot more results than this typically. However, I did the whitelist on this clean virtual machine before I um, infected it. So I have one result uh, masquerading as a Microsoft ActiveX plugin. However, I know it to be malware. So I'm going to delete that. And we are done with the malware scan portion of D7's malware removal routine. Um, moving on to MBR check here and let me demonstrate to you another feature of D7 um, for example now I'm running uh, Kaspersky's TDSS killer well if uh, TDSS killer uh, finds a uh, rootkit and wants to restart the system um, that that would be fine and dandy except you're in the middle of D7's malware removal routine um, well Go ahead and restart the system. We'll just pretend that uh, Kaspersky found something. Okay, now we're back in Windows. We've restarted from uh, from uh, our pretend of Kaspersky, and you'll notice that uh, D7 started back up automatically and has moved on to the next item in the list, um, picking up where it left off uh, previously uh, by installing malware bytes. Now it's updating malware bytes. Um, I haven't. I've yet to click on a single thing, um, but I am going to go ahead and stop the D7 malware. I actually, I'm going to stop the automatic part of D7 because there's no need in running the rest of these programs. I just want to show you that um, we have a hidden volume that we need to fix. So what you want to do is hit reset hidden volume. Now this will unfortunately take a few minutes. What this is going to do of course is, is um, um, get all of our hidden files back. Your customers will be very happy when their documents and you know, all their crap comes back to the desktop. FYI, I'm using Cam Studio to do the recording. Um, I've been asked about that. Uh, CamStudio.org. It's uh, free and quite an excellent lightweight product. Highly recommend it. Okay, and you can see my desktop items are back. Um, resetting the hidden volume is uh, obviously doing its job. Uh, let's see if we've got Start Menu back yet. Yes, we do. We have our Start Menu back. So we're pretty much done with this um, malware removal. Um, there's one item left that I do want to show you. Um, and perhaps I should add this to the malware removal tab. But since we've removed malware, we've still got this desktop shortcut uh, left. I'll just click on this uh, on the maintenance tab, check shortcuts, desktop and start menu and lo and behold it finds broken shortcuts uh, we've got Windows fixed disk link uh, here and then two places in the start menu I'll just hit delete all and you'll see it's gone um, there is one shortcoming of that function it left Windows fixed disk folder here although it is empty um, perhaps I need to add uh, a new little detection to detect empty folders in the start menu. There's an idea for a new D7 feature. 
um, that I can tackle onto this uh, pretty soon. And then the last thing I want to tell you before I wrap up the video is that um, I have changed D7's default deletion behavior to move items to the recycling bin. Um, why I've done this is because D7 can uh, delete legitimate files as easily as it can delete malware and sometimes you just delete a legitimate file by accident so it's best to have these things in the recycling bin I like to go ahead and restart a couple of times make sure I didn't accidentally delete something I shouldn't have um, that is after all what uh, Microsoft uh, intended the recycling bin to be for I fought it for years but I finally succumbed to it um, so uh, uh, perhaps in the future I'll ha uh, make it configurable to whether you can tell D7 whether to send something to the recycling bin by default or not but um, currently it, it does put things there and I do want you to know that so you want to empty the recycling bin um, before you get done with your malware removals because uh, your customers antivirus will probably pick up on that at a later date and uh, then they'll be calling you back wondering if they're infected again. Um, in any case, that does conclude uh, this uh, D7 video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you will stick around for a couple more as they become available. Um, have a good evening.